In these examples, we're going to use something called the cross product method to determine the value for t in each of the given proportion problems. So in my first example, 3 fourths equals t fortieths. What I'm going to do to isolate t is I'm going to cross multiply the 40 times the 3, and that's going to give me 3 times 40 divided by 4 equals t. If I multiply that out, I get 120 divided by 4 equals t, and I can perform that division. 120 divided by 4 is 30, and I'm going to write my t over here. So that should be my solution here for the value of t. It's very, very important that I perform a check. So let's see how we can do a check to be sure we have the right solution. I'm going to write my original equation, but I'm going to substitute the t that I found. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply across bottom to top in each fraction. So the first fraction, that's 3 times 40. The second fraction, that's 4 times 30. And up here, I'm going to put a question mark over the equals because I don't know if these two ratios are equal. So 3 times 40 is 120. 4 times 30 is 120. Those are equal, and my solution then checks. For the next example, I have t over 2 equals 3 over 5. So I'm going to take the 2 and cross multiply from denominator to numerator across the equal sign. So I get t equals 2 times 3 over 5. That gives me 6 over 5. Now, when I perform my check, it's going to look a little bit weird because my solution is a fraction. And I could go ahead and get a decimal for that. And if I divide 6 by 5, I get 1.2. And to write that to the hundredths place, that would be 1.20. So let's see how we can check. And let's check with the decimal because it's going to be a little bit easier. So I'm going to put 1.20 over 2 equals 3 over 5, and that is a question mark. I'm going to cross multiply, so 1.20 times 5, and does that equal 3 times 2? Well, 1.20 times 5 equals 6, and 3 times 2 equals 6, so our solution then checks.